okay so guys today we are going to design this beautiful church flyer in photoshop and guys it's gonna be awesome very quick and very very fast as well so if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around let's walk through the tutorials all the resources file for this um, flyer will be in the description below for you to download and practice them for free so please without wasting my time control and to open a new document and we are going to pick a5 so a5 is here and then name it Fetch Flyer. All right, and once everything is going to be for social media handle, as I said, so everything is okay. So you click on create like this. Boom. So you have your nice interface like this. And the first thing we are going to work is we are going to work with the background, as I've already told you, that graphic design covers at least four areas. That is working with the background, working with text. And then working with images and then the last one is what at least adding beauty sorry beauty to your work to make it look attractive very very simple like that okay so we drag the first background and drag it into photoshop and then wait for it to load okay so now it's downloading hold alt and then scale the edge here to cover the entire screen press enter and then let's go again to the resources file and then this drag this into photoshop then release it and then scale it up like this nicely and then let's go and test the blending options guys let's choose one let's choose one and i think um this is gonna be awesome for now this is gonna be awesome for now again go there again go and pick this resources drag this into photoshop and then scale it up to cover the entire screen awesome go to the blending option again and let's see which one will suit which one will suit our design so let's test them guys we are testing the blend option and i realize that this is quite okay but let's go if we don't get some we'll come and pick the linear light so let's go over again and guys i think maybe this will be awesome or uh, what do you think this will be awesome Okay, so let's go over the background again. So the first one, then we brought this and we set it to highlight. And then we brought this. Let me hide them for you to know. Then we brought this. Sorry. Yes. Uh, we brought this. And then this came up. And then this came up. And then here we clean some parts. And then we brought this one again. And I think we have to add, add another thing again. Where are you? This drag it into photoshop and then release it here boom and then just scale it up like this and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so we put all this thing in a group control gene to put it in a group control gene and call it bg all right as i said it's going to be very very quick very very quick and then sharp as well so we have the images where where are you this this um maybe i'm not going to use all the images and this so drag them into photoshop drag it like this and then wait for it to load and then scale them up so this should go to this side then this should go ctrl t and then let's scale it down a bit drag it to the side and then ctrl t scale it like this and then the woman so drag her up like this and then control t and let's scale it down good 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 so i'm sure we need to send this back and then scale her down a bit like this awesome and this should go up this should go up just try to rearrange the whole image again and then this should go up good 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 oh what do you think so the woman must come in front good 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 that is what i think i suggest and then once the image is done put them in a group control g to put it in a group and then add layer marks like this sorry add layer marks like this Control B and then sorry 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 hit B on the keyboard and then clear 
part of this like this nicely 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 and then we still have something to do with the image so drag this and then release a so I hold shift and then drag it to this side and then turn it this way push it this way and then good press enter duplicate it using alt and then drag good and this is awesome so all this and this becomes the images all right so we are done with the images and now let's introduce our text so all the details are here sorry m m m m then you can bring your logo you can bring your logo okay so we are going to work with the logo and this side is done so i have my logo here i'll drag it and drop it in photoshop and then push it to this side and it's up nicely like this i'll just use the arrow key to bring it down ctrl g to put that in a group and then call it logo all right so logo is done then we are going to pick the 3d text shape drag it in this and i have this 3d online it's somebody who work on the 3d text effects and we also had it online so kudos to um the person in which we downloaded from his site and we are so grateful i've forgotten about the name it's been a long time i downloaded this and i've forgotten the name so please if you are the one who did this um, nice project shout out to you and i'll i'll get back your name again and then um say hi to you for a wonderful um, 3d text effect you have given us and then this is okay so control j to put it in a group like this and then you can call it 3d text okay and that is awesome control a to select that and then center it like this control d to deselect it and then i think it should go up a bit or what do you think and that is it let's add layer max we add layer max and then be on the keyboard to activate the brush to enter side away awesome 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 so we are going to pick another rectangle shape like this right click this and then pick a rectangle now draw a beautiful rectangle like this and then um either the color is uh, for now the color doesn't matter because you are going to change it and then push it up like this push it up like this now first of all let's bring our guys so rule view guide and then new guy layout and then you set your rules and make sure that things doesn't exceed this side and this side so we're going to make sure that it's false in between this side and this side everything is going to be in between in between in between in between and then we are going to pick our gradient overlay so double click this side and then you go and pick your gradient overlay and awesome this is it we have set our gradient overlay already so this is pure black yes pure black and then you pick it this way and then you come to this side and this is a hex code a0441b a0441b that is it so you set it that way and then you come to this side and then that is fbd fbd b84 fbd b84 that is it that is the hex code for there and then this side is also a pure white pure white F F F F F F. that is it and then we set here to okay then here was reverse and then here align with layers then um style is radar and then the angle is zero and um, um opacity 100 percent uh, blending mode is normal and then you click on okay so you have this nicely like that oh sorry 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 so you double click it and then let me set it this way and then click on okay like that boom and now you have this now you have this now you have this now again what we did is that t on the keyboard and then hit anywhere here and then write theme all right all right all right we type it outside the box that is why we are not seeing so bring it this way and then the font we choose was i think anton font okay so anton font like this and then turn all to caps this should go this should go and then let's close let's make it small to 20 like this and see awesome awesome t on the keyboard and move it to this side and we drew another rectangle beneath it again this is it nicely and then 
um i guess we gave it something like a reddish color but not too red a dark red yeah good 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 and then we drag it again and go and type the theme yes okay so the theme we gave we just double click this side and then we type the living word the living word boom and that is it and because it's a that side the color is quite um, um this one and then the uh, the text too is white we need to change it to something like this color and then to make it more visible yes to make it more visible something closer to this and this is okay this is okay control t and then let's scale it up a bit like this so that it will be visible good 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 so this and that control j to put it in a group and call it theme awesome 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 guys we are moving okay so that side is done nicely and then the next thing we are going to work on is the date and time so t on the keyboard to activate here and then let's write the date i think i wrote 14th and then i guess or what do you think is it like um like this um, um go here and then pick this color let's go and give it a color from somewhere closer to the side or a color closer to the side yes and then the font we change it to this akira expanded so 14 like this and then double um drag it this way double click it and then root um, um maybe i guess i guess and then 2024 follows nicely like this so this and then go to paragraph and set it to this side and then come back and come and open it up good good and then go here and set it to maybe 15 and let's see and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome meaning let's close here up let's close here up awesome 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 so pick right click it and then pick this then pick draw a simple elf two nicely like this and then i think this color will match this color will match this color will match and then what are we going to put on it we are going to put this details on it drag it and release it this way and then boom nicely 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 control h to hide it and then drag it to this side control t again to scale it down very little very little double click it just to the side and then gradient overlay and set it to either color white to make it visible over there awesome 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 control h to bring the guides and um, yes to bring the guides back and let's put that also in a group control j and then call it date awesome 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 we said you are not going to exceed so please let's obey that principle let's obey that principle i think the date must be scaled up a bit so let's see if 25 will be okay and it's awesome it's perfectly awesome it's perfectly awesome it's perfectly awesome and then the the date and then time okay here is date then we maybe bring the time and location yes bring the time and location okay so the next thing we did was we brought just the um the venue which is the thermal community 25 um estate junction opposite mf estate dash white estate so these informations are information from my own mind and guys in case you you call any contact that there is a program going on here and i want to attend then it means you are deceiving yourself so that is a quick um, disclaimer that the images and the dates that we use in this content is not or does not belong to us but it's rather for a tutorial purpose only so if you intend to sue us or to cause any damage for using your image or using your 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 text effect or any other things and please um we we, we, we beg you that we are just using those details for tutorial purpose just to teach other people how we're able to achieve this awesome design so that is it so the date 
and then the time is set ready sorry the date and the venue is set ready and then maybe if you want to add more details you can add such as the time but this is for tutorial purpose therefore i'm not going to add the time but if you want you can add the time to be um, maybe 7 a.m to 9 a.m or first session 7 a.m second session 10 a.m third session to be maybe 12 p.m and then so on and so forth okay so after that we drew another rectangle nicely like this and we said it's not going to make exceed this line so this is okay and then let's set the color to something like this and that is it we pick the colors from this side from this side or either from this side and then that is it see on the keyboard and let's hit here and then we write the telephone numbers or contact details on it slash good control t to scale it up like this and then push it down and awesome 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 press control and then press here good press at the side and then vim on the keyboard to center and align this thing control d to deselect it and guys that is it that is it so put that in the group control j and then call it contact details sorry contact details all right all right all right all right and guys i think once you are done like this we are not absolutely down we are not absolutely down just go to this side and then drag this to this side and then scale it to this then here to 90 and then scale it up again hold alt to scale it up nicely to cover the entire screen you know how we do it go to the blending option and test which blending option is okay for you and i think soft light is awesome now soft light is awesome now but let's go over and see if at the end we don't get anything but then we we'll come back and pick a soft light so let's go 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 we just be testing them and if we don't get any we'll come back and pick the soft light as we said and i think the soft light is okay the soft light is okay so click it then press enter add layer marks and then let's clean the face small let's clean the face small so hit here to clean and make sure the face is visible and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome somebody is asking that why is it that in the previous discussion i brought the names and this one i didn't bring names guys it's for tutorial purposes and it's just to assist you and know how I was able to achieve this. So you can also bring the names and then eventually change the name as well. And then once you are done, Control, Alt, Shift, and E. And then group all everything in one layer, then right click it and then convert it to smart object. And then we are going to boost, that is the last one. We said adding beauty to the flyer. So go to filter, then go to camera or filter, and then let's set it up in the camera of water please make sure that you'll be boosting them you have the software in front of you and make sure you'll be boosting them as well and then just if you are able to get what you want and it's okay for you then you click on okay so this one let me push it to the side and guys what do you think and is it okay so we should boost it to this side or uh, which one do you think and i think brother boosting it to the side is okay for me for the meantime and let's see you push the side we push this side to this way and then let's see we push it and that is not good so i'll bring it back to zero and then i'll go to contrast and let's see boosting them up boosting them up please you have the software in front of you so please experiment with it and definitely you will get what you want if you don't get what you want just change everything back to zero and then start afresh start afresh so i think i'm getting okay with these things i'm getting okay with these things and that is it so please if it's okay let's see before and after you see the before it's two days and then the after is making some that's why i said the last part of the design is adding beauty to the whole thing adding beauty to the whole thing so here our temperature was minus 32 tint was positive 21 and then contrast is uh, plus 18 highlight plus 21 then white is plus 11, tester plus 6, clarity plus 3, the haze plus 9, and then the vibrance is also plus 
nine and that is okay so if this is so so okay for you then click on okay here and then it will be applied to the effect and this is what you get guys so in basic this is how i was able to achieve this awesome church player in photoshop please try it and let me know your comments in the comment section below please subscribe to this channel like and share and let's do more or let's learn more please subscribe to this channel like and share remember all the resources file that i use for this tutorials will be in the link below there will be a link and a description for you to download practice and use it for free likewise the psd file as well guys you know how we do it and i say i love you i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now